Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have Queen of Summer with Two of Summer. Someone's definitely uh, wanting a different energy here uh, than what has been given in the past. I do see this as transformative. Someone's finally diving into their deep emotions, uh, following their heart as well. We have just being near you is intoxicating. I want you. Yeah, someone is uh, definitely attached to you here emotionally and uh, feeling this intense chemistry. Overall energy, we have six of wands. This is about achievement, success, overcoming challenges as well. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have page of pentacles, ace of pentacles, and the seven of cups. So this is a major week of decisions for you, or if you've been kind of thinking about some things you want to do differently, especially financially here or with a job. Also in regards to your love life, uh, you know, trust your decision making. Choose to do what's best for you because uh, you will come out on top here. But I see also for some of you a special opportunity coming your way, especially financially here, something out of the blue you didn't expect and uh, makes you feel overjoyed that you can do something uh, that you've desired to do. Queen of Wands, uh, the Star, and the Queen of Cups for their energy. So this is really a unique energy because there is a shift happening in where someone was truly desiring the passionate side of things or, you know, having things happen or the way that they were with you in this connection. They saw you as an opportunity, somebody that really lit up their life and provided them more stability, possibly financially here for some, or for others of you, just made them feel better about themselves, stroke their ego. This energy is shifting into something now uh, truly special, which is the Queen of Cups. Uh, knowing your value and the impact that you have on their life, they're now feeling uh, more in tune with their emotions and knowing that they deeply desire and love you, okay? This is wanting and craving more from you, but realizing in the current moment, they, they have caused a blockage here that seems insurmountable, but wanting to achieve this, wanting to uh, overcome this uh, block. Tell me the star. Knight of Cups, Nine of Wands, yeah. They want now to offer you something uh, when it comes to matters of the heart. They want to be able to embrace this love, okay? Not just the passion, not just what you could do for them. Uh, this really is shifting into a different direction, which is complete uh, opposite than it was uh, during the situation. Because it's showing me that it's not something that they ever thought that they would give into or that they were capable of. Uh, in the past here, we have the Devil, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. So this person could be very goal-driven or just focus on work, 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 finances here. Um, they definitely see you're highly intelligent and they like your work ethic. They like the fact that uh, in intellectually you both are a perfect match because uh, they feel like you get them or understand their quirkiness as well. Uh, but also, they like the fact that you see the world in the same way that they do. Uh, and it's something where they feel powerful having you by their side. But at the same time, not wanting to give anything emotionally to it. Not wanting to invest and uh, open up in that way so that this bond can become something truly strong. They felt you were uh, a, a very intoxicating here with the devil card. As if uh, at times they crave you so much, they become addicted to your energy, but their sole focus is Ten of Pentacles uh, to build their life here uh, financially. For some of them, you could be in a third party where they feel they have the burden of uh, finances here on their end. They're responsible, and that should be their main focus. But you've made them want to, uh, you know, crave love, crave having you by their side and they've always been in this uh, assessment period trying to figure out should I give into my heart should I choose to have it all 
with them uh, or will it just flop? Will I not be successful in doing this? I tell the Ace of Swords. Empress. This person is extremely attracted to you. I just have to say the chemistry between you two is uh, something that I've never seen before in doing these readings. It seems so extreme, so intense. Uh, you definitely make this person feel like they're on top of the world uh, just by how attracted they are to you and the fact that you're in their life. But the passion is fantastic. But what I see here is them just having you, you know, and taking you for granted. And that's how you felt during the situation that they were just using you in a sense or playing games with you to keep you in their life so that they could become more successful. For some of them, they see you as a viable business partner, somebody that they would love to go into business with. Uh, not for everyone though. Uh, so let's see what this is in the challenge. Let's get some more details. Hanged man, strength and three of cups. Yeah, for some of you, it's a third party. Uh, but for others of you that it's not, uh, the foundation is the same. I see that this person tamed themselves from really opening up emotionally, uh, giving into this connection, being able to bond and enjoy it past the two of cups uh, because they felt like they had other things they needed to focus on and they weren't sure if they could trust it. This person does uh, have a lot of trust issues I'm picking up on. They like to play a lot of uh, mind games as well, kind of tip the energy into a confusing way. Like they try to confuse people, sometimes act aloof as if they don't understand. So yeah, they come to you in different energies all the time. But one thing's for sure, the passion uh, is insane. The chemistry feels like something I've never felt before. Ten of, I'm sorry, Ten of Swords, Five of Wands, and the King of Wands. Yeah. I mean, the struggle is real. What you didn't realize is that inside, they were very conflicted. Felt like they were so attached to you, could not break away from this, and nor did they want to. They just craved more and more. But they were unwilling to be vulnerable, to offer you up uh, emotional support or connect with you in that way. And so I see that a lot of you just felt like they had used you in a sense or took you for granted. Okay, tell us the Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles, you were always there to help them in a time of need, whether it was uh, monetary support, emotional support. It felt like, you know, at times you really did have to teach this person how to get through struggles in life. I mean, they really did learn a lot from you, but also they came off very confident, even though they weren't. Uh, very much in their ego and it felt like you know it was all about them and there was nothing left for you all right so let's see what they're about to do here because I see in the current moment they're changing their energy from what they desired in the beginning to seeing very clear what they want to focus on now all right we have two of swords the death card and the wheel of fortune get ready because this cycle has ended and a new cycle is beginning, but it's about to bring abundance, success, and emotional fulfillment for you. You're going to be quite surprised. I'm actually kind of excited for you, Capricorn. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.